Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Gabrielle and I just realized that I'm moving into college on Sunday and I'm not packed at all. So today I'm just going to share with you guys my list of everything that I'm bringing to college with me and some of the things that I don't really think you need to bring. Um, so it's all in my little planner right here. So let's just get started. <laughs> So first off, number one, you're going to need a planner. Um, I travel everywhere with my planner be because my whole life is in my planner. And if it's not in my planner, then I can't remember it. So I really, I use this every single day. My friends laugh at me because I like compulsively check my planner. Um, so this is a really, really important tool, especially when you go to college um, and you have club meetings, you have tests that your professors don't tell you about until the week before but they're in the syllabus so my number one advice for college is just write everything down in your planner my list is just organized into bedding decor storage kitchen and bath which is stuff you'll need even if you don't have a kitchen or a bathroom um furniture electronics appliances in quotes um school supplies essentials and then things you don't need to bring so first for bedding you need a mattress topper. I don't care if you don't like soft beds for whatever reason, you need a mattress topper because the mattresses that colleges give you are not comfortable at all. They feel like plywood. So you're gonna need a comfy mattress topper. And if there's anything that you want to invest in, it's, one of, it's a good mattress topper because you're gonna be using it for your whole four years at college. Um, and then the next thing in bedding is pillows. So your bed is gonna, is gonna be where you spend most of your time if you're not like at your desk or somewhere else. If you're in your room, you're probably gonna be sitting in your, in your bed. So you're gonna wanna have lots of comfy pillows just to make your room feel more homey. And if you watch my dorm tour, you know I have like a million pillows on my bed and I just love my bed, it feels like a cloud. So that's it for bedding. Next is decor, command hooks. I overbought command hooks and then I just kept them in my room just in case I wanted to hang up anything else. And also when you live in a dorm, you can't really nail things to the wall. So you have to use command strips. Um, they're a little expensive, but I would definitely get more than you think you need. Um, the next thing you need is a diffuser or one of those wall plugs that make your room smell good because whenever you're having a shared space with somebody it's gonna get a little stinky um, and I just use my diffuser I put my my oils in it if I have a headache I'll put peppermint oil or something in there um, just anything to make your room smell good that's not a candle because you're not allowed to bring candles because obviously they don't want the dorms to burn down <laughs> um, the next thing is a rug this just kind of goes goes on said you want a rug. And then the last thing for decor is plants. So I'm totally a plant person. Um, unfortunately, my aloe plant that I had last year that you'll see in my dorm tour died. So <laughs> I got some new plants. Um, it's just good to have some fresh oxygen. They're natural air purifiers because when you are living in a shared space, you don't wanna have your window open the whole time, especially if it's super hot. So it's nice to have some plants, just bring some life to your room. And that is it for decor. Those are my two smallest categories. So now we're gonna go into more in-depth things you need. <laughs> So next is the storage category. Um, I bought a bunch of drawer organizers for my desk and honestly I thought that was the best decision ever because you don't want things rolling around and moving around when you're opening your desk. So I just got, they're about this big honestly and probably about as big as a pen and I got three or four of them and I lined them all up in my drawers and one's for my scrunchies, one's for my pen. Next is a drawer liner. So I got really cute drawer liners. They have like patterns and everything. You can just get clear ones, but I totally recommend this because you have to remember the people before you use those same drawers and sometimes they get a little gross or discolored. So if you want to just know that where you're putting your stuff is clean, I would definitely get a drawer liner. Next is I have acrylic makeup makeup drawer things from the container store. That's the only way I know how to describe them. Um, they're three drawers. They have little pulleys on them and I just keep all my makeup in there. Um, and it sits on my desk and it looks adorable and it doesn't take up so much room. Um, next is extra hangers. So 
I, when I moved in, I brought all my clothes on the hangers already, but you're going to want to bring extra hangers because I know you're going to be going to the bookstore um, a million times during the semester. So you're going to want to bring some extra hangers to be able to hang up your stuff. And the last thing in the storage category is a hanging closet organizer. So mine is just fabric and it goes straight up and down. It's about this big and it has three shelves in it and it's where I keep all of my sweatshirts and sweaters that I fold. And that is just really helpful to me personally because I like to be able to see everything in my closet and not just have it all smushed together. So I think some separation in that is good. The next category is kitchen and bath. So last year we shared a communal bathroom, but this year we have our own bathroom, which I'm so excited about. Um, but we don't have a kitchen. So I'm going to tell you everything that I brought that could have been put in a kitchen, but I really just kept it in my room. So... For the bath, you're going to want to bring three to four towels, I would say. Um, I change my towels quite frequently. Um, and it's just nice to have a fresh towel and without having to do a whole load of laundry. Um, so I would bring three to four towels and a couple more washcloths than that. Um, I would definitely bring a hand towel as well because if you are like me and you're clumsy and you spill your water all over your desk, you're going to need something to clean that up with. Um... Next for the bath, I would bring a shower caddy and your shower caddy, it's super important that it has holes in it. I saw ones at Target this year that didn't have holes in it, which didn't make a lot of sense to me because if you put it on the floor of the shower, it's just going to fill up with water. Like that doesn't make any sense to me. So make sure your shower caddy has holes in it so it can drain and it won't get gross and smelly. Next, you're going to need shower shoes, especially if you're in a communal bathroom. <laughs> just protect your feet honestly just protect your feet the next thing this is more for the kitchen side um plates bowls and silverware but don't bring excessive amounts of these because i really only have one plate one bowl and one fork knife and spoon and that's it um so you're gonna want to bring them just in case you need them especially with covid now and we're probably gonna have to end up eating in our rooms or I don't even know having takeout options so it's always good to just have one of each but not an excessive amount and then the last thing in that is a dish soap and scrubber because if you're having dishes if you have a water bottle if you have a coffee cup like you need to clean it out with soap so <laughs> I feel like that just goes unsaid so next is the furniture category and I know your dorm comes fully furnished but these are just extra little things um, I would say bring a lamp the overhead lights are really harsh and I get headaches a lot so sometimes I'll just turn off the light and then turn on my lamp. Um, and then the next thing you're going to want an ottoman. Um, this is just really helpful if you watch my dorm tour I cannot get into my bed without stepping on my ottoman because my bed's too high. Um, and it's also just another like storage option for you to have and it's an extra seating option if you have your friends over they can sit on it without having to sit on the floor so it's kind of three in one. Um, ottomans are great I put all my shoes in my ottoman. Next is the electronics category, and this is super duper important. You need to bring a power strip because there is, I would say, one to two outlets per side of the dorm, and if you don't have a power strip, you are only going to be able to plug in your phone and your lamp, and that's it. It's just so much easier to get a big power strip. Also, I got bed risers that plugged into the wall which then I connected my power strip to my bed risers so I didn't have to climb under my bed to get any of my stuff plugged in. So plug in bed risers, I got them at Bed Bath & Beyond and they were super helpful and they're really sturdy. Um, so I would definitely get them if you're thinking of rising your bed. Next, I would get a laptop case. This is my laptop. This is literally just the Amazon brand one too. So I would get a laptop case and obviously a laptop. I feel like that goes unsaid. Um, you don't need a laptop for college, but it's just super helpful. And then here are all my stickers on my laptop, but I have commitment issues, so they're not actually stuck on my laptop. If you can see right there, I have a clear case on top of it to just stick my stickers on. So I would also recommend getting a clear case for your laptop. Um, if you're thinking about putting stickers on it and then you want to change it or it gets dirty for any reason, just, it's so much easier just to have a clear case on top. And then you're going to want to have a bag for your charger. So I'm a very organized person. So all of my chargers fit in this bag. This is my little Disney Vera Bradley bag. Um, 
all of my chargers just fit in this bag so if I ever go back home for the weekend I know I have all my chargers in here and they're not like aimlessly strewn all over my dorm room so that's everything for electronics now I say appliances because these are just things that I couldn't fit into any other category. Um, so you're going to want to bring a Brita. I actually didn't bring a Brita last year and I ended up lugging probably seven or eight cases of water up to my dorm and that was just not a fun experience. Um, got a lot of looks for that one. They were like, why doesn't you just get a Brita? Just do yourself a favor, get a Brita. Um, and you also want to have a mini fridge. So my roommate and I decided like I would get the fridge, she would get other stuff. So definitely don't get two mini fridges. Like talk to your roommate about that because that's kind of a big purchase and it's a big thing to bring. So just make sure you have, you talk with your roommate about who's gonna bring it. Um, next, I love drinking tea and coffee. So we have a Keurig, definitely bring your Keurig. This is the Keurig mini and it literally is so tiny. It just was made to fit in a dorm room, so. Um, and then the last appliance is a mini vacuum. So at Scranton, we do have housekeeping and they come in and vacuum and everything. It worked out really nicely because they come, the housekeeping comes in once a week. So if we wanted to vacuum on like a Tuesday or something, like we still could. So next is school supplies. You're going to need an important paper folder. Every important paper that you get your freshman year, and there will be a lot of them, just put them in one folder and it's like your mailbox code, your mailbox number, like your mailing address, meal plan information, like you get a lot of packets and stuff. So it's good to just have them all in one place where you can like put it and then forget about it. And then if you need it, just get them again. And last in school supplies, other than like notebooks and binders and stuff, um, get an ID holder. You're going to want to put have something to put your ID in and also like carry around your debit card or like some cash or something just in case you go out. Um, I have mine on a lanyard just so I can like pull it out of my bag whenever I need it. So in my last section, it is essentials. So these are things that I could not have lived without um, being at college. I know this is so basic, but you need a hydro flask or a good water bottle. You're going to need a good water bottle to bring around because um, you don't want to be drinking out of a cup the whole time. Um, you're going to need a hamper and a laundry bag to put inside your hamper because um, I had my hamper, but I didn't want to carry that giant hamper all the way down to the basement to do my laundry. So I just pulled out the laundry bag that had all of my laundry in it and slung it on my back. I looked like Santa because it was so big <laughs> and I would just go down to the basement. Um, but that it's so much easier to get like a backpack laundry bag um, rather than just bringing your whole hamper down. You're going to need cleaning supplies. Um, so like a Swiffer duster. I brought a Swiffer. I didn't really use that that much. But um, for my bathroom this year, we're bringing all-purpose cleaner, like a little toilet brush, um, stuff like that that the housekeeping will do. But if you just want to do it more often, then you just do it yourself. I go to school in Scranton, Pennsylvania. So um, if you go to school in Florida, you're probably not going to need snow boots. But I just put snow boots on here because it does snow a lot and rain a lot. Um, and you're also going to want to bring like a winter jacket or a rain jacket because it does rain a lot. Um, then you're going to want to bring a first aid kit, um, just with Neosporin, band-aids, some like cotton pads, um, just anything you need, Advil, anything you think you would need in a first aid kit, because when you're at home, you don't really think about like going to the medicine cabinet and getting some Advil, but like when you're at school, you're like, oh crap, I should have brought that. So another thing you're going to want to bring is wrinkle releaser spray. I have like the big version of this that I bring to school, but this is just the mini version. Um, you're not going to want to bring an ironing board or an iron or even a steamer to school. So this is just really good if you have wrinkle pants or something just to spray it and it works so well. Um, the last thing is something that a lot of people forget. Actually, you're going to want to bring nail clippers and a nail file too because that's another thing that you just like have around at home and you use it when you need it. But um, that's something really important that you need at school. So now we're going to talk about the things that you don't need to bring. Um, number one is excessive mugs. I love mugs and like personalized mugs, my Disney mugs, like everything like that. Only bring one because they take up so much room and 
if you go to the bookstore and you buy one then you have two and then it takes up more room <laughs> so only bring one mug Con learn how to control yourself <laughs> the next thing is bulky luggage when I moved my stuff in I moved in with the clear Rubbermaid totes and not in suitcases and I think that's a lot more space efficient too if you use the Rubbermaid containers instead of luggage because you don't have to like store your luggage and if you're going home for the weekend I just pack up my backpack instead of bringing like a whole suitcase. Um, the next thing I mentioned before an iron or an ironing board. Um, I have probably ironed two times in my entire life so I don't need a reason why I would bring an ironing board to <laughs> school. Um, just bring some wrinkle releaser spray. The next thing, I know a lot of people have microwaves in their room, which is why I'm saying you don't need to bring it because I have probably wanted to use a microwave maybe three times and then if I do, I just go to one of my neighbor's rooms and use their microwave. Um, everyone's so friendly in school and if you need to use their microwave, they're totally going to let you. So that is everything that I personally would bring to my dorm or not bring. Um, so I hope you enjoyed my video. and. Please leave a like and subscribe and good luck moving into school. You're going to have an amazing, amazing time. Bye.